Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Saturn Junkyard. I am a virtuous schlub, and today, maybe I'll be your host. So, with the holidays firmly behind us, I got to thinking about the things that really matter most in this seasonal wintry gamescape. And of course, I am referring to snowboarding video games. Sixteen million colors. Bring some havoc in your head. <laughs> Judging from my own experience, I can only assume I speak for everyone when I say that in the mid to late 90s, snowboarding games were all the rage and everyone was playing them. And while the PlayStation's Cool Border series, and Nintendo's 1080 snowboarding were probably the most popular contributions to the genre at the time, it must be noted that the Sega Saturn had its own noteworthy titles as well. And we're going to talk about them today. Our first challenger is Steep Slope Sliders, which is uh, probably the better known of the two, although that's not saying a lot as it was the only one released outside of Japan. It was published by Sega and developed by Cave Company and Victor Interactive, which are little-known developers that I actually know very little about. Uh, Cave has a bit of a pedigree making shoot-'em-ups like the long-running Don Pachi series and Death Smiles on the Xbox 360, as well as other extreme sports titles like uh, Trick in Snowboarder, I guess that's uh, N with a, an apostrophe like Trick and, uh, anyway, that was for the PlayStation, as well as Yanya Kabbalista, City Skater, for the PS2. And then there's our second challenger, Zap Snowboarding Tricks. Uh, and, and Tricks is, is, of course, spelled with an X, um, just like the breakfast cereal, uh, with, with the, the fake fruit and the rabbit. Uh... So, not to be confused, uh, this Tricks is a, it's a video game uh, that was published by Pony Canyon and developed by Artelier Double, or, or Artelier Double. Um, I don't really know how to pronounce that, nor have I ever heard of either of these companies before. Um, I think Zap is a relatively obscure title, and it was released exclusively for the Sega Saturn, um, and only in Japan at that. So both of these are snowboarding games on the Sega Saturn, which, uh, which should be pretty cool. And maybe in a more civilized world, I might recommend both and we can all just shred in peace. But uh, this is a competition for virtual supremacy, and only one game can prevail. So in this video, we're going to eschew any notions of nuance and assume full mutual exclusivity between the enjoyment of steep slope sliders or zap snowboarding tricks because there can only be one king of the mountain. So which is it? Well, let's shred some virtual gnar and find out. Grudge match! Steep slope sliders versus zap snowboarding tricks. Best tunes. All right, well, this first category ain't that hard. Steep Slope Sliders' soundtrack has a pretty catchy and eclectic mix of electronica and, well, mostly electronica, but with some rock and pop tracks mixed in for good measure. Admittedly, some of the songs are just okay, but others are pretty excellent, and overall the soundtrack fits the snowboarding action of Steep Slope Sliders quite well. And even better, the game lets you choose the background song at the outset of each run, so you're always welcome to listen to your favorites and skip over any of the crappier songs. Zap Snowboarding, on the other hand, provides no such luxury. Zap mercilessly pipes out repetitive, looping electric guitar riffs, which irritate by the sheer harshness of their treble-heavy mixing. Now, most of the time it's still reasonably tolerable, if a bit repetitive, but what puts it over the top is Zap throws in this perplexingly awful rap track during its half-pipe course. And I'm not even sure you could even classify it as rap, 
Uh, there's no discernible rhythm to the lyrics, and it sounds just like a dude is randomly shouting words over a rejected flea bass line. So obviously, I'm gonna play it for you now. Winner! Steep Slope Sliders! Best Slopes to Shred! Theoretically, when it comes to course designs, Zap adopts a quality over quantity mentality, but ultimately it really just fails at both. It includes three main courses, plus a half-pipe stage, and while they are all fairly lengthy, and do contain some enjoyable segments, large portions of each map just feel copied and pasted to artificially bolster the race length, and there's an overarching sense of blandness and sloppiness baked into each course's design. It never seems like the developers had a clear vision or put much thought into how the courses should feel as navigable spaces, there are no unique landmarks or memorable design quirks or shifts in scenic perspective to ever make the player feel like they're actually exploring or progressing through the course in any meaningful way. Instead, each of Zap's endlessly repeating templates, which include identical rocks, cliff sides, and caves, force a perpetual sense of deja vu after you've seen the exact same turns and geological features repeated ad nauseum within the same run. This effectively zaps, sorry, the game's courses of any semblance of character, which only reminds me of how much better games like 1080 nailed these aspects of their design, and how their comparatively memorable maps compelled me to explore those stages over and over again. After a couple of tries on each of Zaps' courses, I don't feel particularly interested in drudging through them again. I don't mean to pour too much salt on the wound here, but Zap is also plagued with some very sketchy collision detection and frequent physics glitches, which combine for a potent injection of sloppiness that hampers the experience considerably. Especially during the advanced courses, it seems like you're constantly fighting the game's geometry just to avoid getting stuck into rock walls or careening off of the sides of cliffs uncontrollably. Some of the steeper slope angles tend to naturally launch the player into a choppy and an uncontrollable trajectory down the face of the slope, often to your doom. Zap's courses are very bland and unpolished, especially compared to steep slope sliders, which handily outdoes it in both terms of quality and quantity of its course designs. Steep Slope has some solidly laid out maps, along with a couple of duds, but at least it does take some risks in its designs. Steep Slope gains the clear edge by having more open, slightly less linear courses, with a variety of unique obstacles and trick points added for additional experimentation and replayability. The layouts aren't perfect, mind you. Sometimes it feels like parts of the courses are unnecessarily cluttered with random objects and obstacles, which really don't add much to the gameplay. But unlike Zap, Steep Slope actually manages to use these imperfections to its advantage by giving each course its own distinct quirks and idiosyncrasies. Rusted out car frames and fallen trees make the courses feel more lived in, providing a lot more interesting things to see and interact with when revisiting each course. This makes them more enjoyable to explore on repeated runs, even if their design isn't quite complex enough to encourage the player to fundamentally alter their playstyle in subsequent runs. These little details help make each course feel distinct, which is further enhanced with some very nifty set-piece events. For instance, the USA course has you launch into a freefall hundreds of feet from a helicopter over a dam. And at one point during the Japan course, you're snowboarding through a little bamboo-lined mountain village as a neighborhood dog starts running alongside you. These little details do a lot to make traversing Steep Slope's courses a far more enjoyable and memorable experience overall.
Winner! Steep Slope Sliders! Best Tricks! With an X! When it comes to pulling off the tricks, Steep Slope Sliders is about as intuitive as it gets. Just by holding a combination of buttons, including grab and flip with the face buttons, and spin with the shoulder buttons, you can perform all sorts of cool and elaborate tricks with relative ease. And, uh, well, that's about all I have to say for Steep Slope in that regard, so maybe I'll just let the tricks do the talking. It really is a lot of fun. Now Zap Snowboarding Tricks, on the other hand, and especially for a game with tricks in the damn title, it wasn't immediately clear the game even let me do tricks at first. It took me a full day to figure out how to pull off any of the tricks, though part of this required deciphering the Japanese instruction manual and getting help from some folks in the Junkyard Facebook community. And while ultimately it's not too complicated, it's far from intuitive. And worse yet, once you do learn how to perform any tricks, it turns out that Zap only lets you do like four different grabs. It's totally bogus, man. Winner! Steep Slope Sliders! Because it seems the internet is all but devoid of English documentation about how to actually play this game, uh, I've gone ahead and taken the liberty to put together a comprehensive strategy guide for how to perform the tricks in Zap Snowboarding Tricks. Um, and this is a little segment I just like to call Zap Hack! Uh, yeah, that. Um, okay, so uh, when, uh, when you're about to do a trick off of a ramp, um, you hold the down button to squat before you jump, and, and then and then it lets you, then it lets you do all the tricks. So, uh, <clears throat> best racing action. Now here's where things get more interesting. While Zap may fail to live up to its tricks namesake, it does boast some surprisingly competent racing gameplay once you get the hang of it. In terms of racing modes specifically, Zap edges out Steep Slope just by virtue of the fact it even has such a mode. It's nothing extensive, but Zap at least lets you race head-to-head -head against one other AI opponent, which mathematically is infinitely more than Steep Slope Sliders allows. Zap does give players an impressive sense of speed, and flashes some serious racing potential from time to time. It's a shame that the courses weren't better designed, because in combination with the racing action, this could have been a very enjoyable game. One of my biggest complaints against Steep Slope Sliders is its general lack of gameplay structure. There are never any other snowboarders to race against, and at the end of the day, it just serves up a handful of courses to replay with a very loose goal of besting your own times and trick scores at your leisure. Unfortunately, this puts a greater burden on the player to muster their own motivation for continuing to engage with the game, and as someone who enjoys solo time trials and trick attack modes in these types of games, I'm pretty easily entertained here, but your mileage will vary. If you prefer a structured circuit or championship racing mode to progress through, you're going to find a lot to be disappointed by in both of these games. Winner! Zap Snowboarding Tricks! The winner! Most Ridiculous Title! So both of these snowboard games actually have pretty awesomely ridiculous titles. I mean, Steep Slope Sliders, you gotta love the alliteration there. Zap. But, uh... Snowboarding Tricks. Wait, what did he say? Winner! Zap Snowboarding Tricks! Most Radical 90s Fonts! Uh, yep. Winner! Zap Snowboarding Tricks! Most Aliens! Ooh. Good job. Winner! 
steep slope sliders. Most consecutive somersaults. Oh no! Winner! Zap snowboarding tricks. Greatest concern for your whereabouts. Winner! Zap snowboarding trick! Time up! Overall winner! So, to conclude our grudge match for uh, Sega Saturn snowboarding superiority, um, you know, I think it's pretty obvious that I think uh, Steep Slope Sliders is by far the better game. Um, it is the winner here. And overall, Zap just isn't necessarily a bad game. Um, it's 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 not awful. It's just it's incredibly middling, and it just doesn't have enough going for it to overcome the painfully bland and generic nature um, of the overall experience. And Steep Slope Sliders, on the other hand, is just by far a better game all the way all around. I mean, it has way more character, and it outclasses Zap in just about every aspect that matters, including course design, soundtrack, uh, trick mechanics. Um, and while the lack of a racing structure um, is its most glaring flaw, um, in my opinion, um, Steep Slope Sliders remains probably the greatest example of snowboarding uh, that the Saturn has to offer, and it is one of the best of the generation as well. So with that said, um, I can only recommend Steep Slope Sliders between, between these two games. Winner! Steep Slope Sliders! Well, I guess that's it then. Steep Slope Sliders is our reigning champion and the undisputed king of the mountain of both Saturn snowboarding games. Well, I guess that's all there is to say about that. Oh, hold on. What's this? Huh. 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 Okay. Uh, Zap Snowboarding Tricks 98. Just got done making this video. Son of a bitch. <laughs>